So my brothers and sisters, you all know about the stories of Nigerians living in Dubai, how many of them are unable to extend their work permit because of the new rule that has been put in place by the UAE authority. So this new rule has made it really, really difficult for Nigerians living there to extend their work permit. And by so doing, many of them has lost their jobs. And for a foreigner living abroad without a job, it's really tough. It's really, really, really tough because living abroad, you need to pay for almost everything. No one is there to help you with anything. It's not like when you are in your home country where you can have some relatives to help you here and there. In abroad, everybody is for themselves. Everyone is responsible for his or herself. So to live in abroad without a job is very difficult. So there are some few stories that I would like to share with you guys. These are stories from Nigerians living in Dubai. They have shared their experience and their ordeal living in Dubai. It's really heartbreaking. In. It's really heartbreaking, in my brothers and sisters. So let's get on with the stories. I am a certified civil engineer from Nigeria. I got to the UAE in 2018 and in 2019 joined a firm, Aknok Drilling Offshore. Within two years, I engaged myself in many courses to build a career in the field despite the courses being expensive. I tried to get the certification to improve my skills and increase chances of promotion. The courses are Bozi, Advanced Firefighting, Helicopter Landing Officer, H2S, Banksman, Ringing and Slanging, Work Attic, among others. I personally funded these courses. My contract with the company expired on July 27, 2021. In the process of signing a new contract to rehab the career building courses I invested in, I was told that issuance of work permits for Nigerians was on hold. The company told me to continue working as they would reapply. They did many times until they confirmed that the UAE had placed a ban on work permits for Nigeria. I contacted the Dubai Ministry of Labor through its Twitter page in July and it said the minister didn't restrict work permit. He stated that he thought the issue would be resolved in no time until it spanned seven months and counting, adding that the contract was eventually terminated and the company contacted him a few months later to know if the matter had been resolved. This is a story of someone living in Dubai. Even though he had a good job working with a company, he still couldn't extend the work permit. So sometimes I hear people talking or saying that the reason why Nigerians cannot extend the work permit was because maybe, maybe they don't have the right qualifications or maybe they were not there through the right process. But this is an example, this is a story of someone who was there, who had a job there, who has undertaken many courses and just to renew his work permit was a big problem. So before we go start saying that uh, Nigerians are because of all the things going on with them in Dubai, please let us first do some research. Let's understand what is really going on. If you do not know, I will tell you, 
most countries in Asia, they have a way of kicking people out without directly telling them they want them to move out because they don't want to look bad in the international scene. They know if they say it openly that we don't want these people here, people will start talking, people will start calling them out for doing that. For example, the, the Ministry of Labor will just call the office in Dubai that is in charge of extending work permits and tell them not to do it for a certain group of people. They don't make it public. They just do it silently. And there are countless stories of people living in Dubai. They've been working there for a while. And when it was time for them to extend their work permits, they were unable to extend it. And to make matters worse, no valid excuse or no valid reason will be provided. You just go there that you want to extend and they say, no, we cannot do it. Or they say, hold on, we will see what we can do. And they keep on dragging, dragging, dragging. Sometimes they will just inform your employer to cancel the contract with you without even telling you. And then before you know, you go there the next day and your employer said, I'm sorry, I cannot keep you anymore. You have to go. So all these things, they do happen. So to you guys out there, what do you think about this hidden ban on work permit issuing to Nigerians in Dubai? Let us know in the comment section below, because like always, we love hearing what you have to say. Please do not forget to like this video, share this video, leave us your comment in the comment section below, follow our Facebook page, and most importantly, subscribe to this YouTube channel. We shall appreciate it very, very much. Thank you for doing just that. And until next time that we can meet again.